are so glad to see you, dear viewers, and welcome and greetings to new episode of Culture of Flavors. Ramadan edition. I'm your host, Dr. Mohamed Al Gattan. And I'm your co host, Iman Marafi. So, in every episode, Iman gives us uh, an advice for our dear viewers. But before we give you the, the advice today, it's a special day. Yes. What is that, Iman? Gergian or Gergian, Bain, Xayr, Wormelan. It's Bain or it's Bait? No, it's actually Bain, which is between. Okay. Not in Bait. All oh, right. We used to sing it Bait. <laughs> this is your advice, Iman, for our dear viewers? <laughs> No, actually, my advice is to slow down today mm -hmm. and uh, tomorrow and after tomorrow for those three, the three days because the kids are going for Gergia'an. Exactly. And they might actually crossing the roads. Be careful, dear viewers. I know probably you have to catch your rabga or you have to go to somewhere else. But be sure that you drive slowly, especially in the neighborhoods. Yes. So, Iman, uh, in regard to so you brought all that. So this is what you're going to prepare for us today? Yeah, well, actually, <laughs> actually, uh -huh. I always tell uh -huh. that on the day of Gergi'an, today, this year is different. Okay. Because I would like to uh, distribute fruits. Oh, beside the chocolate and nuts. Yes. All right. That's a good uh, thing to do, actually. Yeah. And I would like to see this happen going over the, the whole the whole country uh, of Kuwait. Oh, I hope so. So which country we will be talking about today? Today is going to be our about our country, Kuwait, uh -huh. our beloved country. Perfect. We will be talking about Kuwait and Gergian in the past mm -hmm. and everything that goes in the past and what's like uh, a different like what's the difference between now and then. Perfect. So then the Kuwaiti heritage. So dear viewers, we have a report for you. Let's go watch it together and we will be back. So please don't go away. And we're back, dear viewers, after the report. Today is a very special episode for me. Today, our esteemed guest, he was a mentor. He was my mentor when I was a college-age student. He was so close. He's still so close to my heart. He is Dr. Ali and Najada. We are so glad. I'm so happy to have you today, Dr. Ali, with us today. We're thank very you. happy to have you. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Muhammad. It's an honor to be with you and uh, with our chef. Yes. Well, we'll here. yes. Thank you. Exactly. And especially on this occasion, Gergian. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's a special day. <laughs> yes, it is. Special guest. We are so eager and excited to have the lovely conversation with you, Dr. Thank Abbey. you very much. Thank you very Dr. much. Dr. Ahmed, how do you feel like, like you're interviewing your doctor? He is still my doctor. He's still my mentor. It's a really lovely thing because he's a very close person to me and I really, really respect him as he is my father. I will tell you that this is the student <laughs> that he is now much better than his teacher. <laughs> Thank you so much You're for welcome. this compliment, You're welcome. Dr. Ali. Very so, happy. Dr. Ali, can you introduce yourself and to the viewers and tell us about a little bit about yourself? Okay, I'll give you the, uh, you want the short uh, CV or the extended one? <laughs> <laughs> you are a pro you're professor. Uh, professor Ali Saleh Al-Najada. Uh, I'm a uh, 
professor of interior design at the College of Basic Education. And luckily, I'm a, uh, a colleague of Dr. Mohammed. Uh, I'm also the spokesperson of uh, Expo 965 team for heritage, uh, handcrafts, and uh, talented Kuwaitis. Um, I'm the, the, what do you call it? The, or, not the organizer, but I'm the head of the uh, handcraft committee at Expo 965. I'm also one of the jury for the, um, the handcraft uh, award. That's that's uh, that's an international award, and also a jury for uh, selecting or choosing uh, international or world craft cities. Nice. Wow! Yeah, yes. inshallah. He's a world well known. Yeah. So, I'm so excited to read more about this lovely conversation. Thank you so much. But, Doctor Ali, before we really go deep in a lot of questions, a lot of concern we have. My colleague Iman, she has a dish that she's going to prepare for us. <laughs> and luckily for both of us, we're going to try what she's going to make for us. So let's see what she has for us. Yeah, please, before the, this episode ends. All right. <laughs> so go ahead. They will have the chance to, to eat. <laughs> inshallah, inshallah. Thank you so much. So today's dish is going to be sabal gafsha, which everyone knows in Kuwait. Maybe even like uh, from the people from the GCC. Okay. So today we will be having uh, the sabul gefshas ingredients, mm -hmm. which will be rose water. And I soaked also the saffron with, so with the rose water. We have uh, powdered milk, sugar, two eggs, uh, cardamom, we have yeast, and we have uh, rice, uh, grinded rice, mm -hmm. and we have the chickpea uh, flour also, and we have the regular flour. So three kind of flowers, the rice flour, chickpea flour, and the regular flour. Okay. And all of them will be like half a cup, half a cup, only this one quarter of a cup, one tablespoon, and one tablespoon also of this one, two eggs, three tablespoons or four tablespoons of sugar, according to what you like. For me, I like it less because we will already put it in afterwards in uh, sugar syrup. Correct. And we have also uh, three tablespoons of, uh, or four, milk. Nice. Then half a cup of rose water. Perfect. We will uh, blend it all together, mix it. I will mix it now, and then we will fry it. Perfect. So, Dr. Ali, hopefully that you love or you like sample gifshe. No, I'm not going to leave the studio before <laughs> I get my share. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great dish. I don't know. Extend this episode. <laughs> it's done. You came in the right time, the right episode. Yeah. So, Dr. Ali, yes. I would like to talk about uh, Gergian. Since yes. today is the first day of Gergian, yes. could you tell me more about it? Well, it's a very dear occasion to my heart. Okay, you, you are taking me to my early childhood. Yes. I remember that I started maybe doing the Gergian when I was probably six or seven years old with the, uh, you know, my friends in the neighborhood. And um, we used to have a team leader, okay. okay, that he will have a big sack. Okay. Um, usually this is made um, either from a pillowcase or, uh, you know, a small, um, small sack, okay. okay. And we will all go behind him. He will be leading us. Okay. And we will be singing. <laughs> 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 we used to say baits. Uh, and then that's 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 uh, you know what what some people think okay. it's yeah. bait. It's not bait. It's bain. Xayir wormeilan. Xayir means the month of Shaban because uh -huh. it passes very fast. Okay, and uh, then the next month is Ramadan. Okay. So okay. they say bain xayir, the month of Shaban wormeilan. Yes, yeah. and there are some of the people that they either call it Shaban or xayir okay. because it's the short or fast. Um, period. Correct. So, um, and and um, the funny thing is that after we go around in the neighborhood, knock on the doors, and we start singing, you know, uh, that whenever we knock on the door, they open the door, we ask them for Gergia, and they say, okay, uh, this is my son or my daughter. Correct. So please sing for him, and we'll say, and then we Put the name. Okay. Salam Ahmed, Ya Allah, or Salam Hamoud, Ya Allah, Khalla Lumma, and we keep singing until they give us the, um, you know, the chocolate exactly. and, and the things. And sometimes, if we are very lucky, 
Okay, then they put some uh, change, oh, money. Nice. Yeah. Oh. So uh, at that time, okay. 20 fills means good money. <laughs> okay, I can buy soft drink <laughs> and a biscuit or maybe uh, bialet uh, someone uh, hab. Okay. Okay. Uh, or crackers or something and then like you have that. to sing loudly if you want Definitely. to get more? Okay. <laughs> sing and dance and jump the up and down and okay i mean we have to show exactly yes. um so and and then when when the whole thing ends we will go to a corner or sit you know on the street and we will form a circle and um the the team leader will put everything on the floor. We try to find a piece of cloth okay. and then get this one. Okay? <laughs> this is the, the best part. The, the stingy people, okay? <laughs> we start counting how many chocolates. We separate them. Nice. How many nuts, how many, whatever it is, we separate them. Okay. And then we start putting, okay, this is one chocolate for you, okay. one for you, one for, finish the chocolate, then we go for the nuts and then we go for the, <laughs> the rest. And then everyone will have, you know, his fair share and we will be happy Distributed about that. Distributed equally between Definitely. all teams. Definitely. Otherwise, you will see... Mm. <laughs> okay? So, um, that is usually done. And, and that's very, very uh, happy moment Correct. that I still remember and cherish, you know, during my childhood. And... Um, when, did they, when did you start? For after the Aftar or there is a specific time? No, no, after the Aftar. After the Aftar. After the Aftar. You eat Aftar at home? We eat the minute we finish eating, okay. Oh, you start. And then we start. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and basically, we want to start soon. Okay. Basically, because we don't want the other group of kids go to the house and okay. get they the get, goodies, get, 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 okay? Get and when we go, they don't have enough. Correct. Okay, because usually they look at the group. Okay. If it is, let's say, five kids or ten kids okay. are singing, they give them more. Correct. And when you go to them and they say, well, we are sorry, we're done for the day. Can you come tomorrow? Correct. Oh. Tomorrow is not a good day. All right. Okay. I want it today. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we try to go as fast as we can. And usually it takes us about two hours, mm -hmm. um, you know, collecting. And it's not limited to our neighborhood. Okay. You could go Sometimes, to yeah, we can go to other neighborhoods and we start singing and we get, uh, you know, these goodies and uh, we come home and uh, very excited. And guess what? We go home full you know with the goodies and <laughs> and i'm not gonna give anybody <laughs> okay. ah you're gonna have all of this for you i have it sometimes i put it under my you know pillow uh -huh. or put it in a small bag Box, yeah. okay and i will that's it's like my um it's so valuable it's it's like my supply for a month all right okay yeah i don't finish it I, I will take, you, you know, some, some, yeah, a couple of nuts, uh, a chocolate, Hi. you know, today, tomorrow, <laughs> the day after, okay? And it might be, I mean, if I go with a group and my brother go with another group, mm -hmm. then we will compare how much I got, okay. I got, and how much he got. Perfect. Okay. And Gergi, I'll last for three days. Yes, 13th, 14th, and the 15th of Ramadan. Got it. Yes. And Dr. Ali, what about if you go to any house and they say we don't have... <laughs> so I don't want to say it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, that doesn't happen very um, often um, because all the neighbors they are know, ready. Prepared. They are. They are well prepared. Right. They are very generous. And if something, you know, if 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 the let's say whatever they have is over, okay, they will usually say, okay, you come tomorrow, come early, and we will keep your share. Okay. 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 And nice. and usually they are very. Um, let's say um, honest about it and um, but anyhow they, they were our you know neighbors yes right. okay and if we don't get the chocolate and the nuts and so forth you know they might be generous and say you know I don't want you to go heartbroken okay, okay. take 10 fills or I mean 20 fills or uh, 50 fills or they give us quarter KD for everybody wow and that is the magic a, big, a big wow <laughs> yes yes so could you compare the Gergi'an between the past and now? How is different? I feel that it had a magical uh, feeling and flavor mm -hmm. in the past. Okay. Today, unfortunately, I mean, in the past, the kids will go out and they do the Gergi'an. Okay. And the girls also will go in a group. 
But usually the girls, they don't stay late mm -hmm. and they don't go far. They mm -hmm. just go to the close houses right. and, um, you know, do the Gergeyan and then go home. Although in the past it was safer than now. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Def you know why? Because everybody knows everybody. Correct. Okay. Yes. Today, you know, my neighbors, you know, uh, you know, we know each other, but we don't have that strong relationship yes, together. Right. That's one thing. The other thing now today, okay, unfortunately, the kids will go with their maids, Correct. okay, for the Gergean, and this is not a traditional thing. Um, and um, even the, I believe, the goodies, uh, the, you know, the chocolate and the nuts and so forth. Now it became more of a, a trend, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Whoever brings the most expensive, the, right. the most decorative, decorative and yeah. so forth. And it costs a lot of a, definitely, a lot definitely. Of, a lot of family cost pay a lot of money to really provide kirkihan and today show up about it. If you look at this small sack, that will be my share Correct. when I go with the group. Correct. Today, I might get you know for kids they will yeah. get five, ten yeah. of these. That's yeah. one thing. Easily. Easily. Correct. The other thing is that we used to have like, you know, a handful uh. of the, the goodies. They they used to like take a bowl, small bowl, and then uh, just yeah. dip it and sometimes not your... even a bowl. They, you know, take it with a hand. With hand. Okay. And so we so hope that whoever is gonna give us will have a big hand <laughs> to get more. Okay. <laughs> now they will put it in more decorative. You see, you know, a package. Uh, in a shape of a camel, in a shape of a car, Correct. in a shape of whatever. Correct. Yes. That's an extra cost. Mm -hmm. The the whole purpose of celebrating uh, Girge An, okay, it's not to show who will pay more and who will have more decorative stuff. No, yeah. it is, you know. To, to enjoy the event itself. Enjoy the event, have social, social. connection right. with the others. Yes. I remember until now, I used to live in a city called Desma, mm -hmm. okay? People of that city, okay, they almost know, I mean, everybody knows everybody. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Because we used to kind of go around okay. and get to know each other. Yeah. Now the kids, okay, will go maybe to one neighborhood and mm -hmm. then at the end will go with full, you know, pockets. That's, is that enough for them? Yeah. That's enough. Mm -hmm. That's very interesting. Yeah. So, Dr. Ali, you are like, your, your talking is very interesting. Thank you. But before that... Well, let's go for a break yes. and then we will come back, we will do the frying and then we'll talk more. Perfect. Inshallah. So dear viewers, we will go for a short break and we will come back.
And we're back, dear viewers. I have tried only one because I wanted to see the oil, if it's too hot or not. Uh, we don't want it over to be like heated because it will burn quickly and then in the inside it will be very wet. But we want it to be hot a little bit. So I will try start frying it. Then you have to flip it? Yes. Right. And then uh, I will strain here the oil of it. Mm -hmm. Later I will dip it in the uh, sugar syrup. Perfect. So Dr. Ali, why do you think it is called Sabbal Gefsha? Oh. It's, just, it's very simple. You, <laughs> yeah. you are using a spoon, al Yes. Okay. That's why you pour it from the Gefsha. Yeah. That's why they call it Sabbal Gefsha. Okay, like give us other names also like this. No, there, there are others, but it's not Sabbal Gefsha. Yeah, yeah. Gemat. I mean, yeah. 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 Gemat. It's like, you know, the small uh, brown, it's like bones. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's also another sweet thing. Uh, and um, both of them are yummy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Dr. Ali, out of curiosity, yes. now we still, alhamdulillah, practicing the holy month of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah. I would like to know, comparing the holy month of Ramadan now, nowadays, mm -hmm. comparing the past, mm -hmm. how is differ? What is the different? Are they the same or not? I, I believe the spirituality of the month of Ramadan in the past was much higher because people are more concerned about their uh, religious practices and spiritual feelings and uh, reading the Quran and praying and so forth. Now it's more of let's go to the mall yeah. and buy new clothes. Correct. Yes. Let's go to the um, Prepare for Rabge. Yeah, let's go, um, you know, and, and buy a new dishes. Correct. Okay. Uh, th there is more now concern about what we're going to eat and what we're going to dress Correct. for the month of Ramadan and the Eid. Okay. Which wasn't exactly the same case. So that's mm -hmm. one thing. The other thing is that in the past, I remember uh, before the Adhan, Maghrib Adhan, mm -hmm. you will see especially the small kids okay. taking food from one house to another, yeah, yeah. which we call it Nuqsa yeah. or Nuqsa, yeah. okay? And um, we still see it, okay? But it doesn't have the same flavor as in the it past. It was really simple. It was very simple, okay? Yes. And now, I believe, you know, uh, or, or in the past, you know, little, you know, plate, plate of haris, or uh, al gamat or uh, or tashrib Correct. will do the the job okay Correct. yeah now people think about what am i going to give my neighbors it has to be something fancy fancy okay if it is not the food it's the dish correct okay if it is not the dish then it's the wrapping correct okay and and that just you know take it away from what it's all meant to be for the Nuqsa. Which makes really uh, harder for the families because they're going to spend more time, uh, more t not only time, more money. Yes. So it's going to really burden their really budget. Yes. One other thing, please, is that in the past, it would be my mother that will cook. Uh huh. Okay. All right. That's now, right. now it's now, <laughs> now it's a different. Now it's different. It's not, it's not, now, in the past, my mother or my wife. Okay. So my wife uh, will not get upset with me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you have to give her some credit. Oh, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> yes. We have been, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, together for about 47 years. Mashallah. Okay. So um, she, she deserves all the credit. Yes. Yeah. So it, it has a different flavor. It has a different touch. Now most of the people are, uh, you know, getting either pre-made food either from outside Correct. or from the uh, the mates Correct. or the housekeepers. Correct. That's okay. But when you get the food, let's say from a housekeeper that is not, you know, acquainted Correct. with the tradition, then you will get the food with a different flavor. Yes. Indian flavor, Correct. Vietnamese, yeah. Filipino <laughs> flavor. Okay. So it's different it's spices. Yeah. Different spices. So it's no longer the same Kuwaiti flavor. Okay. Uh, so there are some differences. Definitely. And people are probably busy with the social media and this is actually also take their time. You know, I remember I saw a um, caricature drawing. Correct. A group of family uh -huh. sitting and as if they are, you know, looking in the food Correct. to eat. That was a close shot. Uh -huh. 
when they took the long shot, okay. each one is looking at the phone. <laughs> okay, oh. so that's that's one other thing. I mean, and during the month of Ramadan in the past, mm -hmm. okay, family gathering means family gathering. Correct. Okay, now most of the family gatherings is not really family gatherings because each one is busy with his phone Correct. and looking into the messages. Most of the messages that we get with all the different, uh, you know, programs, okay, uh, I call it waste of time. Correct. Okay. I agree. Uh, because there is not much, you know, of, let's say, beneficial things, okay? Uh, either images or videos or messages or whatever it is. Uh, so people, instead of getting together and socializing, Correct. they are being deviated. And Professor from Ali, live the moment, enjoy the exactly. moment. Exactly. So exactly. even when we actually eat, a lot of children, they have their cell phone or they're watching uh, some any kind of program. They don't really taste the food. You should really taste the food, communicate with each other, compliment, then talk. That's it should be. And, and, and by the way, you, you mentioned something very important watching uh, TV. Okay, in the past, when we sit <laughs> to eat, yeah. we socialize. Yeah. Okay, now when we eat, we look at the TV and we'll look at whatever episode is there. Correct. If it is a cartoon uh, movies or if it's a new episode comedy. or comedy yeah. or whatever. So we're not socializing. Correct. And and that doesn't keep, I mean, it doesn't bring the entire family members together, together. unfortunately. And this yes. is why there, there is a lack between the family members. Yes. Correct. Yes. So how is Iman doing so far? Uh, I finished too. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, but I think I'm talking with Professor Ali for a long time and I'm really getting excited about it. I forgot that you're already making this a couple of them already yes but so. you know i'm very lucky <laughs> you know why why you're looking at me i'm looking at something uh, I'm really, exactly i'm really focusing on you yeah, so. <laughs> yeah keep focusing keep focusing <laughs> until it's finished huh so dr ali regarding the food that we are doing now yes what do you enjoy uh, like specifically in the holy month of ramadan and do you cook i do oh nice yes i do good I do. uh the thing that i really love is tashrib Okay, especially if it is made with uh, meat and uh, bamia uh -huh. and uh, potato. Okay, okay. and uh, I'm starting to get hungry. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's one thing, and and the reason I like it that it it becomes kind of it's not a dry. Correct. Okay, it's it has moisture in it, which is the, uh, the marag. Correct. Uh, and that's something that I really love. But the thing that I cannot take my eyes on, it's the Sabul Gafsha, Iman. Please speed up. Yeah. <laughs> so, Professor, yes. you only eat uh, Tashrib only during the holy month of Ramadan. Yes, exactly. So, the rest exactly. of the year? The rest of the year? Which was? Which was? And I got to eat with my five fingers. Exactly. Uh, for, for, and by the way, I believe, you know, the month of Ramadan, we sh everybody mm -hmm. should uh, reconsider their eating habit Correct. their behavior Correct. it's it's a month of let's say um, reduce eating it's not reduce eating but to think more of you know how you want to live your life right. life is not all eating food Correct. okay uh, it's it's so many other things and the month of Ramadan is not just eating I mean a lot of people will put on their table so much food mm -hmm. that they cannot finish, they cannot eat. Okay. And then most of that... All wasted. It's wasted, yes. okay? And if it is, if it stays until the following day, mm -hmm. then they will not eat it, they will fix something exactly. else, okay? Right. And that's something that shouldn't uh, happen. Mm -hmm. uh, the month of Ramadan, people should be very considerate mm -hmm. about everything that they are doing whether they are eating, drinking, communicating with others, uh, let's say sitting with themselves and, and try to think about what they have done in the past and what they would do in the future. Okay. For example, each year at the end of the year, they say, okay, what are your next year wishes? Correct. Okay, yes. have like 10 wishes that yeah. you want to do for next year or you hope to get. Yeah. Well, for me, the month of Ramadan is the month of me asking God for forgiveness oh, yes. and hoping that he will uh, re reward me or he will help me to um, accomplish things that I would like to accomplish in my life. Inshallah, 
all your hopes will be getting through by inshallah god we are having a lovely conversation thank you so much Saturday. we have a break and we'll continue so dear viewers we'll be back so please please don't go away One of the most beloved songs sung during the holy month of Ramadan that we all know and love. Girgi'an is a special custom and tradition throughout the whole Gulf region where children celebrate on the 14th, 15th and 16th of Ramadan by receiving sweets and candies after singing songs of celebratory praise. In Kuwait and Saudi Arabia, Girgi'an is known as Girgi'an. In Oman, it is known as Garanga Show. And in Bahrain and Qatar, it is Garanga O. And in the Emirates, it's known as Haqq al -Layl. In recent years, the distribution of Girgi'an has differed over from the past. Whereas before, they used to be given out in wicker baskets known as zibil. Simple candies and chocolates filled the zibil to be handed out to kids knocking on the doors. Nowadays, the distribution of Girgi'an is in fancy personalized boxes and bags handed out during the events and gatherings of Ramadan with fancy chocolates and candy. And we're back, dear viewers, and I have finished all the sabal gifsha. Nice. Only one is left here. Okay. So I will sprinkle a little bit of uh, cardamom on top of it, all right. just to give it a little bit of, uh, you know, decoration and good taste. Perfect. And now you can try it and enjoy it nice. while we're speaking and talking. So Professor Ali, he loves the sabal gifsha. Who doesn't actually? So you are our guest so please thank you for your generosity i will take it home with me <laughs> <laughs> the whole plate huh so iman briefly could you just mention to our dear viewers about the ingredients actually there is a lot of ingredients, a lot of ingredients yeah. what about if people would like to do it at home for sure we had like, two uh, eggs please, you could try my goodness <laughs> we had it smells eggs. so great we had a quarter cup of uh, uh rice flour and then we had uh corn flour uh, sorry, uh, regular flour, and we also had the uh, uh, chickpea flour, along with the uh, powdered milk. And I forgot to mention that we need also a little bit of oil with it in the mixture, 
and rose water with it. Also, uh, soak your saffron with rose water. So have a cup or one cup of uh, rose water, and then you add a little bit of also the rose water with the uh, saffron you soaked in. Mm -hmm. And then you mix it all together with the yeast and sugar. Mm -hmm. Then you put one tablespoon of cardamom. You mix it all together. Then you wait it to puff at least like a one hour, two hours, the more the better. Mm -hmm. And then you fry it. It's good, Dr. Ali. What about if you try some? I'm drooling. <laughs> <laughs> so please go ahead, you can try. Thank you so much. So, uh, Dr. Ali, yes. uh, do we have any traditions that are specifically for Kuwait only, like with a, we cannot find in other countries? I'm not quite sure, but the thing that I think that um, we see it during the month of Ramadan, mm -hmm. uh, people taking food from one house to another, Correct. which is the Nuxa. Um, I've seen, you know, in Kuwait, I've seen it all these years, but I don't remember that I have seen it in other countries. Okay. And maybe that's because of my ignorance. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I believe that this is one thing that we see it. In, in the month of Ramadan, and we don't see it in other months. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Dr. Ali, you just take a first bite of the supper gift here. What do you think about it? I congratulate you. <laughs> oh, <thank> you. <laughs> it is so tasty. It tastes thank really you. good. Uh, that, um, the texture is good. I don't know. When I finish this, what am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> so, mashallah, it mashallah. Is, it's, 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 very, it's very delicious. And I'm not thank saying that because I'm on TV. It's but, my mom's recipe, because, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's all old all, all Kuwait's recipe the same. I don't know. But mm. like, we usually take it from my mom's. Perfect. Tell your mom, thank you. Perfect. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> so, Dr. Ali, yes. we are almost reaching the end of the episode. Unfortunately, we have a lovely conversation. If you have any suggestion, if you have any recommendation to our dear viewers, so please go ahead. Before I answer your question, I forgot your, what you asked me about. <laughs> okay, because this I was too... thinking about oh, licking my finger. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's what, really delicious. What was your question? So what is your recommendation? Uh, any comments for our dear viewers during the holy month of Ramadan? I would say take this golden opportunity yes. to meditate and reconcile it with yourself mm -hmm. and think about what you have done mm -hmm. in the previous year and what you would like to, to do in the next year. Exactly. Um, it is very important that we have some sort of planning because they say those who do not plan for success, they are planning for failure. Oh. So it is quite important that we plan for our upcoming year. I would encourage everybody, including myself, to take the month of Ramadan, to have some time to ourselves, to rethink Okay, and meditate and also connect with others, especially people that we did not connect with them for some time. The relatives. Please take the time. Relatives, friends, okay. uh, people that we haven't seen for some time, that people we didn't talk to sometimes. Check your phone, Correct. okay, and go through the names right. and you will find a lot of people that you have not connected with them for so long. Yes. And they will be so happy to hear from you. Correct. And you tell them, Happy Ramadan. Thank you so much, Dr. Ali. Thank you. It's, it's such a valuable recommendation thank to you. our dear viewers. We'd like to thank for your time, your valuable Thank you very much. Thank as well as, we would like to thank Iman for preparing. You're very welcome. This. Definitely, definitely. Yes. Thank you, Iman. Please You're thank your welcome. mom for this delicious supper. <laughs> You're welcome. So, Dr. Ali, before we end this episode, we would like to give you a girgian for yeah. you. Yeah, thank so, you very much. As appreciation. Thank you very much. So Only you one. Also remember the old days. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you so much. Now I have to go to the corner of the street and, and check, open it and, and, and check what you have inside. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much for thank your you. generosity. Thank you so much, Professor Ali. Dear viewers, we're going to see you tomorrow, inshallah, with different guests as well as talking about a different country. Until then, please take care of each other. Bye bye.